Well, Richard, let's start with reflections on Saturday. So many positives to take from the game, despite the result, to show that you can compete on this big stage. Yes, I think it was uh, one hell of a venue for our first game back in the Premiership. Um, you know, the facilities are incredible, but at the end of the day, it's probably just a, a, a palace with a football pitch in the middle. And the, the, the bit we have to concentrate on is the football pitch in the middle, which is ironically, which I think was exactly the same size as the Bodymore Heath training ground. So, so in some ways, the game doesn't change there. Uh, the quality of the opposition, uh, you know, second best team in Europe last season. Uh, so I think they, they showed that at times, the quality they have. Uh, from our point of view, what do we take from it? Uh, I thought our organisation uh, throughout the game was very good. Uh, probably what we didn't do as much as we have in the past, and you have to give the opposition credit for that, is we, uh, we didn't show our, our qualities on the ball as much as we would have liked to. Uh, our qualities in being able to press as a unit we tended to just sit in a little bit at times, which is not quite us, but we did it really well. There was a lot of belief in it. Um, so the improvement must, must come from uh, keep that belief in, the, in our defensive organisation, the work rate of the players, uh, get better at the little things, because the little things tend to lead to big things, uh, and I think we'll be okay. It's a steep learning curve, isn't it? Um, in the Premier League. Yeah, well, I mean, you say in the Premier League, I think the only football, I mean, we're in a new environment now. Ball speed quicker, the players are more physical, uh, even though the, the Championship is a physical league. Uh, I think it isn't just, uh, or it isn't just uh, smashing into people like it can be in the Championship. They actually smash into you and then use the ball intelligently. So it's, it's getting used to that, that sort of speed, I think, yes. I mean, you led the Champions League finalists for over an hour, and, and there were Plenty, plenty of good things, weren't there? Any, oh, well, anything you particularly learn taking forward? Anything we particularly learned? I, I think we need to, uh, we probably need to compete with the physicality, uh, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, I'm not sure that uh, we always got the rub of the green in the decisions in some of them, but I think we need to compete with the physicality. Um, a couple of times we were, we were beaten too easy for like lost possession of the ball, which is unlike us. So probably we need to do that, you know, not just thinking the Premier League is all about uh, technique. It isn't. There's, there's an awful lot of uh, endeavour and strength that goes into it as well. Nice to see John McGinn get the goal. That was a good way to celebrate a new contract. He, he could be a, a big player for you. Well, I think we all knew that anyway, didn't we? I mean, whether he signed a new contract, hopefully he was always going to sign a new contract with us. But I think everybody knew the qualities that John McGinn had, what he showed last season. John McGinn... Uh, He's probably the epitome of the modern day midfield player. He gets from box to box, he's got good technique, uh, he's got an eye for goal uh, and he does the other side of the game really well. He, he, he tracks people back, he gets into good areas and he competes. So uh, yeah, it was nice for him. I mean, it, it was something that uh, as a team, I suppose we'd worked on a little bit, that, that sort of movement, so that was good. Bjorn Engels and Tyrone Mings uh, showed the makings of a, of a good partnership there in the centre of defence, lots of uh, important interventions and blocks from there. Yeah, they, they, they combine really well. I mean, Tyrone, we all know Tyrone's qualities, uh, his, his enthusiasm, his, uh, his desire, the way he pushes other people, uh, regardless of his abilities, he's a really good team player from that point of view. And Bjorn comes in uh, and he complements him really well because he's got a, a real calmness about him, both on and off the ball. Uh, he's got a calmness around the training ground. When he trains, he trains, uh, you know, one hundred percent every time. Uh, and the effort he puts in, and the way he conducts himself with other people, uh, is excellent. A, a really good professional. Everything that we thought we were going to get. You had four starting debutants, and uh, two came off the bench as well. One was Douglas Louise. Uh, the fans are excited about him as they are about many of the, of the new recruits. Um, how's he settling in and what, what are you hoping he can bring to the... Well, D Douglas, I mean, he, he took his time getting here we're through one reason or another, you know, passports and uh, etc. Et but uh, we eventually got him in the building last week and straight away he showed his qualities on the ball, which we'd already seen in the, the scouting videos and the, uh, the analysis we'd done on him. Uh, that was quite extensive. Uh, that Suso and his team had brought up. So uh, we knew what he could bring to the team. He's, he's got a, uh, a desire to get on the ball. Uh, he understands the position really well. Uh, he's very competitive, um, sees a pass. 
Uh, so he came on the pitch Saturday and you know, showed those qualities straight away, I thought. Yeah, we haven't got time. You've got lots of hard work to do on the training pitch with, with the players to go through all of them. But um, Hotter, we're going, to, we're going to be uh, speaking with later. Do you think he will have the type of game that might suit this level of football? Because he, he seems to be able to make things happen. He, he does have a, um, a, very, a very creative um, element to his game. Yeah, well, that's, that's well spotted. But I mean, he's, he, he sees things that other people don't see. He's got a great left foot. He links with players really well. Probably plays slightly different to where we want our wide players to all the time. But the fact that he is an intelligent footballer, he, he, uh, he's always got a reason why he does things. Uh, and he understands the defensive side of the game as well. Uh, again, another very good team player that, uh, that I'm sure, given time uh, he, and, and support, will, will be a, a, a big asset to us in the, in the Premiership. From a coaching point of view, is it good to have the window shut now so you know what you've got to work with? And also, of course, different perhaps to the EFL, generally you don't have as many midweek games, do you? So, so you're planning the whole week for, the, for that big weekend match. Yeah, that, that's another good observation. Yeah, it, it, is, uh, it is a thing from the Championship. Uh, the majority of the side time was always uh, recovery. Recovery, get your, your tactical elements in through the use of video analysis and that. But now we'll be able to go and work on the pitch, work on the players. Uh, yeah, strengths and weaknesses and, uh, and improve them as a, as a team that way. So from that point of view, from a coaching point of view, uh, give me every day of the week, yeah.